so the initial plan today was um, basically just shopping for my kids to get them school clothes and some new sneakers for school. Um, so we just went to Ross and I did that. But uh, anyway, I wasn't really, pl I was going to yard sale this morning. I, um, in particular, I wanted to hit up that, um, that church sale that I went to a couple weeks ago because this was the week. But I seen that, I don't know if it's the same church, but it was saying something about appointment only. And I was just, I just, I, I wasn't into that really because that's the type of, I just didn't think there would be anything there, you know, no, you know, no no profit or no, you know, no way to really make any money there. So I just let it go. But anyway, I was on my way out. I was going to hit up the Goodwill and a couple other places. There's a Goodwill. It's like out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, because I don't want to be out all day doing all the other stores. So anyway, while I'm on my way on my road, I'm just leaving my road now. Um, there was a bunch of free stuff sitting out. Now there was a Memorex Color Boombox CD player. I know those can have some value to them because they're they're a little different. They're the more rare ones um, with the color. So I'm guessing, but I, I think the lid is broke on that. But anyway, I'll show you guys what I got. I did get a bunch of magazines. If I get anything else today, then I will do a small haul video. So if not, I might just kind of scratch this video. This guy's always walking around keeping him in shape, I guess, old man. All right, so we'll see. Um, and if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Rocco. Um, this is Flip the Thrift, this is my channel. And it's slowly growing, slowly but surely. But if you guys like this type of reselling content, finding things free um, that you can resell in the trash, because um, I find a lot of stuff on the side of the road that, um, that I can that I can resell and I, I sell things that I've found in the trash very frequently so with that being said I guess you just have to have the nerve I, I, I got the nerve long time ago from my grandpa that used to make he used to build bikes and he used to always pull bikes out of the trash and rebuild them and fix them and um, that's where I kind of get it from and it doesn't really bother me to pull over and sometimes it's a little embarrassing but you know you just got to kind of get through that and just because there's a lot of profit that people people throw good things away because they just don't want them, you know. But um, it's all good in the hood. So, while well, we're in the woods, not the hoods. Okay, so anyway, like I said, if you guys like this type of content, please thumbs up, like, my, uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell to get notified when I post new content, and I will greatly appreciate it now on with the video. I'm going to see if I can find anything else today. Okay, so I just stopped in the store that I used to have my stuff in. It's like a little thrift store, kind of in the middle of nowhere. And this, there's an Amish lady that brings stuff in here. So that means I'm going to have to probably stop in here most freak, you know, pretty frequently. Um, she's not real knowledgeable on certain things, so I can definitely go in there and find certain items like there's a pair of Nike shorts and um, they were older with the gray tag so I was gonna pick them up and then I see they were five bucks so I was like nah cuz I mean they're probably gonna sell for twenty dollars if they would have been like two dollars I would have picked them up but then she had a bunch of Nikes and uh, they were all Air Max 95s and you already know the deal with them um, they're probably gonna sell for fifty dollars or more a pair and uh, they just need cleaned up a little bit. There was one pair of shocks. I don't see the shocks selling for a whole lot for like a ton of money. So I didn't pick them up. They were only five bucks. But I mean, the mesh on them looked like it was going to be just really hard to clean. There was like black soot. They were they were just in bad shape. But the, but the one pair of 95 is actually a 10 and a half. They may fit me. I think two pairs are missing the soles. So... A lot of people will take the soles out just so they fit. Um, if they can't get them in a certain size, or that size without the sole may, you know, may be may fit better. So it is what it is. I got three pairs of Air Maxes for twenty-four dollars. They were eight dollars a pair. Um, yeah, I did the math right. And um, so there were also some records in there. So I'll show you guys a little bit later what I got. And now I'm gonna go. Um, see if there's any more yard sales, maybe any more free stuff sitting out. I'm actually out in the country, so um, 
it's kind of like a hit or miss out here, but I, like I said, I just pulled over and pulled a bunch of free stuff out of the trash. There was a lot of books, but they were, um, the, there was a lot of religious books, and the re a lot of the religious books tend to not sell for very much. Um, I mean, it doesn't mean that I shouldn't have took them all and still went through all of them, because there may be one book in there that could be worth a fortune. You just never know. I just have so many books that I need a bookshelf now. I need another bookshelf. The one that I have is not wood. It's made out of, um, I'm rambling on, but you guys are here to listen, hopefully. Um, it's made out of metal and it's bending. So the, I think that I need to get a good book, um, a good wooden bookshelf. Um, hopefully, if I can find one, a really big one that will hold a lot, of, you know, a ton of books. Because I definitely have room in that corner. I, it's just filled with just that one little bookshelf and it's just not working. So I think I need to look into getting a bigger bookshelf to hold my books because they do come and go. Like I did sell a book today. I do sell books. They just don't sell all the time. They, you know, I sell probably a couple a week and I probably have a hundred books. So, um, and my Harry Potter, I'm waiting for the set. So I'm waiting for that last, you know, that last one or two books that I need to complete the set. And I have, um, I should be able to complete two sets soon, but I haven't seen any. I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm just gonna buy the book as cheap as I can, maybe the hardback book, because the, the set will sell better if they're all hardback, if they're all, um, here we go, more free stuff, so we're gonna stop. Records. Boom. All right, let's check it out. Okay, so there was a well-built um, bread oven. Oh, my trunk's up. Oops. Can't leave your trunk open. There was, they were nice. There's a lady out there with her kids. The kids were like, it's free, it's all free. I'm like, yeah, I know, I'm taking it. It's all mine. <laughs> it's funny they're waving at me. <clears throat> so the well-built bread, I think it's a bread warmer, bread, I don't know if it's a bread maker or a bread warmer, I think it said bread warmer. So I'm not really sure. I know some of the machines can go for decent money. I'm gonna do a little bit more research on it. If it's not really worth keeping, I'm probably just gonna donate it. But um, there was a box of records. I did see a couple in there. I didn't really wanna go through all of them. There was probably about 10 or 15 records, so I just took the whole box. Um, records are records if they work. Uh, I just bought a bunch today, so I'm definitely gonna be listening to them today. A lot of Deep Purple, I got three three or four records of Deep Purple, and I know one of the Deep Purple records is like a $20, $25 record. They were all $2 a piece. I think I may have gotten six, so I might have, the most I spent was like 10 or ten or $12 on the records, and um, I think one record in there was like a really obscure record. Oh, there's a garage sale. Okay, we're gonna have to turn around. All right, so let's hit this garage sale up. So there's actually a neighbor. I don't know if it's a neighbor or if it's the people that live there, but somebody's in the box. I don't know if they're just putting stuff in it, but they may be throwing away valuable stuff. So I'm definitely gonna go back and take a look because I don't wanna miss out on a potential, you know, potential high selling item. You know, you just never know. You, you never know what people are throwing away unless you look. So. Um, a lot of times it's junk and sometimes it's not, you know, sometimes it's really good stuff and they may be in the process of throwing more things away. So I'm going to look. Okay. See what I mean? Um, I'm glad I stopped. There was two full boxes of records and they look like they're in pretty good shape. They look like a lot of country. Um, maybe some things that I normally wouldn't pick up. The lady was like, she was like, are you sure you can lift that? You know, because it was heavy, you know, it's filled with records. So, I think, I don't know if I'm going straight or left. I'm not even sure. I was supposed to go left. Continue on Page Ridge Road for one mile. Oh, I'm sure I'll find the way. Um, 
Where there's a will, there's a way, right? So anyway, it was two full boxes of records. Like I said, I wouldn't normally pick some of that, some of those genres up, or genre, or however you want to say it, um, like country and things like that. But you never know; there may be a valuable because I look them all up one at a time, and I'll play them and test them and make sure that they all work. Um, that's the reason why I bought a record player, which is a, it's a good record player, but doesn't have very good sound. I would love to have a really good record player with like really awesome sound, but. I mean, things like that, they're just bigger and they take up more space. Um, unless it was like a Bose or something, you know, something smaller with bigger sound. But it is what it is. You know, my, I only paid 50 bucks for it. I got a decent record player. <clears throat> I'd like to get an 8-track player too because I may be picking up some 8-tracks tomorrow. I think it's two boxes of 8-tracks. All that old audio has is, is been coming back for years and it's still coming back and they're making more and if you have the original you know I'm sure that people want the original stuff and not the old stuff so um, that's the reason why I picked up these records in a quarter mile turn left onto Henry Road there's a deer a couple deer oh there's a whole family yikes don't hit my car but uh, anyway like I said you know I just I know that records sell I know that they'll all have some some sort of value I may even be able to lot some of them together if they're the same um, type of artist. Maybe like take the next left onto Henry Road. I've seen Patsy Cline. You know, I've seen ones that are similar, and those are the ones that I'll probably lot together. So I think that I'll probably have a better chance of doing. In a quarter same. mile, turn left onto Pennsylvania 850 East. That's what I did with the tapes that I have. So anyway, enough talking and blabbing. Um, if there's something else to stop for on the way home, then I'm going to stop. If not, we'll just head right into the whole video. Turn that light on and turn that light on. Go ahead. All right, we are back in the dungeon now. Um, I picked up all these records. I'm going to show you everything that I picked up. I got some records today. I got a bread oven for free, a bunch of records for free, a stereo for free. Um, I bought a bunch of Air Maxes. I bought three pairs of Air Maxes, um, and they're, they're valued really high, like up in the close to 100 for all three pairs. Um, a couple t-shirts, a few things. I'm going to show you what I got, and I'm here chilling with my son. He is chilling like a villain. Say what's up. What's up? Okay, so the bread oven, I'm really not sure what the value is of that. I didn't look it up. I know it was free. It looks super clean on the inside. Um, the, it did say it worked. The people that put it out, they put a, had a bunch of stuff out. There really wasn't anything of any value, but I did grab that. Um, I think I grabbed a few records, too. Most of these records are junk. I'm going to put a lot of them together. There is a JFK record in there that may have some value. Um, the problem with this radio is, is that everything works. It functions um, fully. It's fully functional. The color ones are the ones that, are, that people want, too. So this is actually a very sought-after model. The problem is, is the lid doesn't stay shut. So I think the piece that clips down in, I think the, the latch part is broke off and that's plastic, so I can't really fix it. But um, they had a note on top of it saying that if you put something heavy on top of it, it will, it will weigh it down. So, I mean, that's a good idea. I may be able to sell this, but if the tape player plays, I'm going to keep it. Because all the tape players that I've been getting have been junk. They have poor sound. And um, this was free, so I can't lose with that. So I'm going to move it out of the way real quick. We got some old records under there, nothing big. Um, I'm going to see if I can find the JFK record. I kind of wanted to show you guys that real quick, but I have a feeling I'm going to be digging for it forever. So, yeah. Well, anyway, um, the last JFK record that I sold, sold pretty fast, and it sold for decent money. So... There's a lot of polka records in here. I did see one lot of polka for $35 for like 40 records. Um, um, fortunately, um, records are media mail and they ship really cheap. It was definitely it was all free. So I'm going to decide which ones I want to keep. Some of them are, are, um, are chewed up, probably from mice. Um, they're not really bad, but they're not great either. But then there's a ton of them that are in perfect shape. Like all the polka ones are in great shape. Some of them I may just not even do. I may junk the ones that are chewed up and they're just, I, I don't want to list anything like that and sell that. I would rather just get rid of it and get it out of my house. Um, then we have 
the ones that I bought at the shop that I bought the shoes at. Um, there's an Amish lady there, and um, she's not very knowledgeable of, um, not for the records, but for the shoes. She isn't very knowledgeable about um, the styles and what some things are worth. And sometimes that's something that you, you should obviously take advantage of. I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm saying that in a business model way. Um, that everybody doesn't know everything. You're going to come across people that just some things they just don't know and they have to learn. I mean, so um, their loss is obviously your gain. They're still making money. They're still um, listing it for what they want or, or, or pricing it for what they want and they're getting what they want. I didn't lowball. I knew they were valuable, so I jumped on them. So these records were in the same shop. We got one deep purple. Um, here's another one. I think this one, this one's deep purple. This was a record that I know that I noticed was a um it's called Uriah Heap, the best of. I'm not sure what this is, but I know this record is worth <coughs> excuse me, man. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. That record's worth a few bucks. I've heard of Lazarus before, and I knew that there was a little bit of value in this record. And um, this record is actually worth about $30 as well. All the records were $2 a piece. So here's the other deep purple. Um, I didn't look this one up. I only looked those two up. And those were selling between, like in the $20 range. So I'm going to lot all the all three of these records together. And I'm, hopefully I'm, I'm going to get at least $40 for those records. The Robert Plant one as well. The jacket is in really good shape. The record's in good shape. Um, this is Robert Plant. Um, the Principle of Moments. This is another good record. I think that that's supposed to be there. That little drawing right there. Yeah. Um, but obviously, Robert Plant was the lead singer of Led Zeppelin. So that's definitely a good album. That's another $25 record. So right there, we're looking at $60. So I spent two, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, pretty much what I said when I was in the car, $12. So I spent $12 altogether, um, a little higher than what I like to spend on records. Usually in like the Goodwills and stuff, records are, sometimes they're a little bit cheaper. It just depends on where you go. And then all these records were free. They're on the side of the, or not records, I'm sorry. All these magazines, these ones are the Work Basket. Obviously they are vintage, judging by the picture. The date is 1964. So these are really old. I think these are all the same. Yeah, they're all work basket. They're all probably um, crafts. So I'm going to sell them in a lot. I'll probably get a decent amount for them. It just depends on what they are. These are all the same thing. These are all vintage also. Obviously, I'm going to grab them because magazines do very well, especially in lots and especially vintage like arts and crafts and things like that. So you chilling? Yeah. How much? A lot. Okay. All right. So he's chilling a lot. All right, so um, I don't know what this is, how to keep your new home, blah. I don't know. I, these were just there. Here's an old joke book from 1971, Jokes by Cracky. So what do you say? Should we try one? Okay. A man threw a nickel. What does it say? A man threw a nickel towards the blind man's cup. The coin missed and rolled along the pavement, but the man with the dark glasses quickly recovered it. But I thought you were blind. No, I am not the regular blind man, sir. He said, I'm just taking his place while he's at the movies. Ha 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 ha. Very funny. Okay, good old day Christmas annual. I don't know what that is. There's another one, good old days. Um, so these are just all vintage books. There's another one, good old days. Good old days. There's an old Legion. That's probably not really worth anything. Um, then we have these. We have crafts and things. There's a whole stack of them. Then there's another Legion. There's another Legion, and there's Birds and Blooms, Birds and Blooms, there's a couple of them, Country, Country Woman, um, just a bunch of, there's some Family, Family Circle, should probably keep the camera on it, so you guys can see, um, this looked interesting, so I grabbed it, Icebergs and Jungles, sometimes some of these old books have, have, have some decent value to them, so I grabbed that one, I grabbed this one too, this is another craft book, um, nostalgia crafts. I grabbed that one, and here's another pile. This one is Woman's Day. Um, man, that's these are in these are in rough shape, but these are older. November. Look at the price on that. Ten cents. You know that's old. Um, let's see if we can find a date on these. I don't see a date. Yep, right there. 1976 for that one. So it's as old as me. We're looking at 40. 
44 years old. Okay, and then reminisce, hitting the high notes, whatever that is, another. These look like they're not as old. 2009, so these are not old, but there's a whole pile of them, so there's a bunch of them. I don't know how old that magazine is, but all those magazines, they were all free. There's definitely some value there. Uh, magazines do really well. I'll just list them. Um, like I said, I, I'm definitely going to need to get a bookshelf of some sort because I'm definitely running out of room um, for like records and things. I have a ton of records that are over on the other side, over by where I take my photos. So I definitely need to get started on records eventually. I'm not worried about overstock, not one bit. I don't even let it bother me no more. I, as long as I know I got something to list, that's really all that matters. Um, and I'm paying my bills. So this is the first pair. I'm not sure what these were called, but I sold a pair. I bought a pair of these in, um, in Ross uh, about a month and a half ago, and they sold for about 190 new. Um, they just need a little cleaned up. They're a little dirty. The air sacs are good. The only thing is they are missing the soles. I'm going to pop a pair of soles in there, probably from a pair of my older shoes, because I like to pull out a lot of mine as well. Um, these are going to sell for about $100. I paid 8 for them, so not a bad score. I just need to clean them up. And These I didn't look up. I think these are indoor soccer. Um, I forgot to look these up, but yeah, I think these are soccer shoes. They were only a dollar, so they're probably worth about 20 bucks. They may be worth a little bit more than that, I don't know. But Nike's are just a brand that you can't lose, so I jumped on them. Here's another pair of Air Max. I think these are 95s, Air Max 95s. I think these are the same thing, um, 95 or 97s. I think these are 97s and these are 95s, if I'm not mistaken. Um, both of these shoes are anywhere from like probably like 70 to 90 dollars a pair so definitely an awesome score 8 16 34 or i'm sorry 24 i spent 24 dollars on 25 if you want to count them so i spent 25 dollars total on sneakers and i'm going to quadruple my money you know just one pair so that's definitely awesome that's that's a ton of profit there that's awesome so that, that stuff I ain't even worried about. The profit is in the sneakers. I'm going to clean them up immediately after I'm done with this video. So the t-shirts were $3. The Iron Maiden one, probably not so much. It'll probably sell fast. It's, it's, it's just the um, your typical um, original Iron Maiden poster, the one with the British flag. That one is um, just your basic Iron Maiden shirt. Probably like 20 bucks. Um, I paid three dollars for that one. I paid three for this Grateful Dead one. Here, hold this one up so they can see the whole picture. This one's dope. This one's really cool. This one's is Telluride, Colorado. Um, it's definitely not. It's not vintage. It's a cool blue. Is there anything on the back? Just tie dye. Yeah, nothing on the back. Okay, so that one's pretty cool. Not too bad. Um, I see them. People listing them. I don't think I've seen a sold one though. I think people are listing them for like thirty-eight dollars, thirty-five, thirty, but. Um, I, if I list it for like 25 bucks, it'll probably sell really fast. So we'll see. Um, I picked up this, this Phillies bag. It's, it's Chase Utley. It's just a little tote bag. It's got a couple little spots, a couple little, you know, a little stain right there, but it's still new. It's brand new. It's really dope. It's shaped like a shirt, like a, um, like a baseball jersey. It's really cool. I actually think I have his jersey. I think the one I have is Ron Howard though. I don't think it's that one. And then this was free. And this was free. Um, no, yeah, this was all free. Um, I think I think there's a belt inside because it does pl play the music. But it doesn't move. The thing that I'm thinking it is, is there's probably some type of drive belt inside. So there's a couple screws under there. I'm just going to take it apart and look and see if there's a belt that goes in there. Because this is the, what, what spins around and moves. And I'm guessing that there's a belt in there that goes from there to, you know, to some type of wheel that turns that, that turns that wheel. So there's probably a belt in there. The belt may even be off. So I'm going to take, I'll take it apart and check it out. It's worth it because I didn't pay for it. Um, sometimes some of these old toys, this is vintage. It's from, I think it's 97. It is 93. So it's even older. So this is from 93. Um, some of these older toys can go for some really good money. It just depends on the toy. Like uh, this one in particular could be worth $20 or it could be worth $100. There's just no telling. Um, 
I didn't look it up, so I don't know what it's worth, but um, I will keep you guys posted. Um, this was only a dollar. I've sold these before in sets. Um, I usually don't find them new and sealed like this. It's usually really rare. Um, these do. I don't know if they sit for a while. Maybe, maybe just put this on maybe on Amazon or something if I can. And then here's another game. Anytime I find a board game that's only a dollar and it's sealed brand new, I always jump on it because I know it's worth at least $20 or $30. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that was worth it for a dollar. I've never heard of that game, so I don't know if that's if that has any value to it. Um, this is World War II. This was only a dollar. Um, it's the whole set of World War II, Battle of Russia, Prelude to War, Nazi Strike, Divide and Conquer. I don't like to pick up a lot of the, um, the Nazi stuff with Hitler and things like that. Um, I really don't like to list that type of stuff. I'm going to see what this is worth. Um, but a lot of the a lot of that stuff does not. Uh, I don't know if it sells well or not. I just usually try to try to avoid it. But um, this was only fifty cents. So I know that this guitar is probably worth about twenty five or thirty dollars. Okay, so I got a video call from the wifey, and that about wraps it up. This has all the stickers on it, so it doesn't look like that. It has stickers all over it. Um, it's still in decent shape. I've seen them selling for like fifty or sixty dollars. Um, I think they were new. They come with a disc. Um, I don't think that this has anything in it. Let's take it out and take a look. I don't think it does. Here, hold the box. All right. So, is anything in the box? Here's the model. It's actually silver. Is anything in the box? There's something in it. It's a sound. Yep, I knew it. Nope. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, it's the piece of shutter. That's fine. Just throw that out. Nope. You sure you need it? I think there was supposed to be a disc or some. I, I seen somebody selling it with yeah. a disc. Maybe it, the disc was something else. It could have just been a game to go with it. But um, this is for the PS2. If I do come across a Guitar Hero game, I can always just throw it in with this. So um, I really don't have a way to test this. But um, I, I don't really... The buttons seem to be working pretty good. Everything seems to be working good in it. Okay, so with that being said, okay, thanks for watching. If you guys like my content, please thumbs up, smash that like button. Um, hit the notification bell to get notified when I post new content. And please subscribe to my channel, support my channel. I greatly appreciate when you do. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Peace out.